Phaser is another type of synchronization mechanism that is available in Java and that enables us to synchronize threads between different phases. So within a program uh, which is like, you know, your class which implements run or maybe, you know, the, the callable interface, uh, in that code, you, you could have a, a set of instructions that you want to execute first for all threads and then only those threads should move to another set of instructions and then after the completion of those instructions, they should move to another set of instructions. So in a sense, you would call that type of flow as different phases of your program. And if you want to synchronize that uh, the set of threads first execute say phase one and then only they should move to phase two and then only they should move to phase three, you can use phaser in those type of uh, situations. So in a way it is, sim it is similar to cyclic barrier but it is just allowing you to control within the program like between the different phases of that program. So that's the power of phaser. For demonstration purpose, I have a simple uh, program here where I am defining a phaser and uh, the parties that I have set as one, which means that, you know, when phaser does await and uh, advance, it moves uh, like one thread to an uh, next state. That's what it does. Uh, the parties here mean. Uh, uh, what I have here is uh, that I'm creating two threads of thread runner uh, class and I'm passing this phaser there and in thread runner within the run method uh, when when I'm doing uh, phaser what my thread does is that uh, uh, the thread says hello and then it says arrive and await or advance which means that you know it advances for the next thread to come and when next thread has uh, reached that state the main method also you're doing a arrive and await advance which means that you know it is waiting for both threads to reach to the completion and then it prints the statement saying that you know this phase is complete and then it again does our arrive and await advance and uh, here it says it moves sort of moves to the next phase i'm keeping it simple saying that you know say this is the phase two of your program where you're doing this so in short uh, both the threads would do uh, say this statement and then the phase one which will, will get completed and then they would do these this statement and then the phase two will get completed and then they would do the third uh, statement and then the th third phase will get completed here you would just do arrive and deregister because there are no further phases of your program so let's just run the program and that's what it does. So the thread names are nine and 10. This order, don't worry about this order. It's just, you know, how operating system uh, runs the uh, uh, threads. But the idea here is that, you know, it's not that uh, thread 10 and nine, they first do hello they, and then they do hello world and then they do hello world again. So that is, that is how uh, the phaser is helping you ensure that your threads are executing certain set of instructions which is the phase uh, that we are calling here first and then they do the next phase and then they do the next phase so that's the power of phaser thanks